Hello from Houston, Texas. We are on the road. We just went through Katy, Texas, and you see that we've picked up some fashion along the way. Uh, apparently, I have my Uncle Terry to thank for um, introducing my father to these wonderful technological innovations which you get wet and you put around your neck. You'll see I have styled mine in the French way, and Dad's just sort of doing like the rag over the, over the neck way. Because it is friggin' hot and we are still in Texas. Now, in case you're curious what these are, they're actually just chamois that we wet and we're draping around ourselves to uh, to try and keep us cool in this hot Texas heat. So tonight we're headed for Galveston, Texas, where we're hopefully going to meet up with a friend of mine from St. Thomas, which is wonderful because we're both used to this heat, but we're going to dip in the pool a little bit. And um, we had some very classic Texas barbecue for lunch at a place called the Cruise Market, which was in a historic town whose name is escaping me right now, but they had, it was Lockhart, Lockhart Texas. Um, it was kind of like a warehouse. You walk in, you order your meat, you take your meat, you order your sides, you sit down, there were no forks. Uh, and that's just the way it was. So anyway, um, tonight will be our last night in Texas, then we're on to Bayou Country. Uh, Dad, do you have anything to add from today? Yeah, when you ordered your meat, they just threw it on two pieces of butcher paper and they weigh it out for you by the pound. So we, I ordered a half a pound of brisket, Megan got a single sausage, and we didn't even finish all of that. I saw a lady come in later, and she was carrying a piece of butcher paper that had a whole lot of weight to it. And she had a whole lot of weight. She and her friend, I glanced at the thing, they had at least a pound of barbecue and at least three sausages on that thing, maybe more. So that's my rule. I'd also like to note that uh, Dad was a little outraged by the No Forks incident, which kind of amuses me because I really think of him as the, uh, the down-home side of the family and in, fa in fact continued to pick apart his brisket with his uh, coleslaw spoon, whereas I just like tore into it and just ate. So who knows where that comes from. Anyway, uh, that's about it for today. We'll see you tomorrow.